and moves up into fifth position now. Race director, listen to us, please. Second and third place, there yeah, you are. They go. are very close together. Gallon, they're just about holding out on the hard top, but McCabe has taken six seconds out of them since he came out of his stop. It's going to be a matter of time now, but can Gallon hold on? Well, strategy is McCabe's forte so far today, and McCabe closing in on Gallon here as he pulls a little bit closer through turn number 10. Gallon running a little bit wide. McCabe, you can see him in the bottom left of your picture. Called won the uh, World Tour event back at Salzburg, and uh, McCabe there, you can kind of see why he did. Closing in on Gallon all the time. Now he's going to have the run down the start, finish stroke. Will McCabe be able to go into second place here? They're going to oh, go on oh, to oh. They are going to be going on to lap number 20 of 22 as they come across the line. And McCabe make that 21. So this is the penultimate lap. And uh, McCabe trying to go round the outside. Gallant's been able to hold on, but McCabe has two more laps to try again. Absolutely threw it to the inside. Dave McCabe, no way to go. Gallant sideways there coming out of T3. And again, McCabe has to get off the throttle to avoid going into the back of the out of control Canadian. And the thing is, if McCabe gets into uh, second place here, he'll move up into second in the standings overall from third place. And this position really matters for the American driver coming up towards the fast right hander. The double apex up here, a great corner to drive, but very scary if you get it wrong. And McCabe still not quite close enough to get by the Canadian driver. Coming through the middle section now, this is where patience on the right foot really helped us out. Didn't help it really earlier. He spun round through here, but McCabe gets through okay. And we're now McCabe. He's running out of time, Chris. The leader, Fraga, is now just about coming across to start his final lap of the race. Yeah, Igor Fraga comes across the line to take the last lap board. Almost 20 seconds clear from Gallon and McCabe as they come out of turn number 12 and make their way through turn 13 and 40. Who's going to get to turn one in second? Will it be Gallon? Will it be McCabe? The home crowd would like it to be McCabe, and he's looking to the outside as we approach turn number one. Is McCabe going to get there? He's in second for now, but it's all going to be who's braver on the brakes. And Gallon has just about hold out, held on once again. What a fantastic bit of defending there from Gallon. McCabe's tyres are starting to wear, wear out a little bit now. The soft tyre only have a short operational life, and Gallon is doing his best to try and defend. Now McCabe is forced to the outside. Will he have the grip to get round? Let's find out. No, not quite close enough. Gallon at the moment just off the podium here overall, uh, but uh, up ahead, Igor Fraga is going to be crowned the America's regional final champion. This the battle for second place. Gallon there side by side with uh, McCabe, and uh, McCabe there just looking to the outside. Gallon there having to defend now as they come through turn number nine. Here is but he won race two, he wins the final race. Igor Fraga is your America's regional final champion. Fantastic performance. The battle still the, the second, Chris. McCabe and Gallon are still going at it right now. McCabe is going to have the slipstream coming up towards the line. He might not be close enough, though. Gallon is the Canadian driver defence. Here comes the slipstream. Here comes the run for McCabe. It's going to be a photo finish, I think. McCabe pulls out. He goes across, and oh. Gallon just about keeps it. Only just. 0.045 of a second. Take a bow, gentlemen. That was some fantastic racing, and the crowd here applause for the winner, Igor.